It is a warm welcome to the show, viewers. I'm your host, Amoro Collins, and today we are going to focus our attention on the possible first 11 for the Gunners that is Arsenal based at Emirates Stadium in England. And before we get down to it, remember to view, like, subscribe, and share, and also drop a comment on the comment section down below. Let's get interactive on all social media platforms and on Facebook I'm at Molo Collins and I, wa I know many of you are wondering why today I'm putting on an Arsenal jersey it's because today much of our focus and much of our attention will revolve towards Arsenal possible first 11 2023-2024 season and Arsenal is under the stewardship or under the tutelage of Mikel Ateta. This is the 41 year old tactician, former player of Paris Saint Germain, PSG based in France and also former Everton player and he winded up his career at Arsenal under Wenger's reign and today he is in charge of the Arsenal first 11 and we've seen that Ateta has come a long way with this Arsenal team since the departure of Arsene Wenger and he has managed to clinch an FA Cup in his short reign. Well uh, let's get down to it and we see that in between the post it's not a matter of discussion anymore because Ramsdale the England international at only 25 years old is going to occupy that number one spot and of course is going to put on the number one jersey for Arsenal. Now I remember that Ramsdale managed to dislodge uh, the former Arsenal goalkeeper who is currently at Fulham by the name of Leno. Leno was the number one first 11 for Arsenal but somehow Ramsdale managed to dislodge him from that position and since then Ateta has put his trust in Ramsdale, the England international. Now let's move on from the goalkeeping position and to the defense line and we see that uh, Saliba of course is going to occupy that center back position. Remember that Saliba did very well for Arsenal last season 2022 2023 season before getting injured the french international only at 22 years old of course is going to occupy that spot uh saliba also a former marcel loni making his return to arsenal first 11 last season and michael ateta putting all his trust towards saliba and According to me, I think that Saliba was Arsenal player of the season. Many will say that he's Saka, but according to me, I think that Saliba did a lot for Arsenal last season. And when he got injured, Arsenal was not that comfortable in that centre defence. And I think he was the glue that was uh, putting that Arsenal uh, defence together. Now, let's move to the other person who is going to partner Saliba at the heart of defence. It is going to be Magalhães, that is the Brazilian center back only at 25 years old and also a Lille player. Magalhães was very crucial and pivotal towards last season and he was the man that when Saliba got injured, he was the one that managed to marshal that defense. So I think between the two, Saliba and Magalhães, there's no much doubt or no no much question to speak about the two defenders i think it will be saliba and magales to partner to marshal that center back for arsenal now let's move to the flanks and on this position number two i think that zichenko zichenko only a 26 year old a ukrainian international and a former manchester city player only a 26 years old is going to occupy that set, uh, that fullback position. I remember that Ateta last season was using a very interesting formation. This formation of inverted fullbacks 
will allow the likes of Zichenko to move forward and occupy that midfield position and letting the likes of Saliba and Magales at the back and then Zichenko will push a bit forward and join that midfield. Now, on the number three uh, here, uh, we have two people and I think these two players, we have Timba. Uh, Timba is a former Ajax player and an Holland international only at 26 years old. Uh, he has just been signed by Ateta and remember also Timba was in the radar of Manchester United, he was in the radar of Bayern Munich and finally his final destination is at Emirates Stadium under uh, Mikel Ateta. So it's going to be a push and pull between these two players. Uh, we have also Ben White on the other side who is also trying to get a spot on this Ateta first 11. Uh, ben White at only 25 years old, former uh, Brighton, uh, Brighton player and also an England international did service for Mikel Ateta last season and he was very solid marshalling that defense together with the legs of Magales and Saliba. Now, between the two players, I think that Timba is an all-round player and is going to occupy that position because his passing is very accurate, he's tackling and is really fast and the way he keeps the ball is very interesting to see when Timba has the ball. So I think that Timba and White will, are going to share at this position because the season is, we have so many matches and towards the end of, of the season all the players will have played a lot of matches just to be precise about 80 matches that is also considering the international friendly and also the international duty for their country so I think maybe Timba and White will, sh will have to share a number of matches in that position. Now let's move to this uh, midfield position and we have Thomas Party, the 30 year old Ghanaian international former Atletico Madrid and many thought that Ateta was going uh, to let Party go and I was among one of the few who thought that Party would finally move away and Ateta went on and got the signature of Kai Havert. Uh, this is a German international at 23 year old and is also a former Chelsea player. Very exper experienced at that age having won the UEFA Champions League with Chelsea. But I think Thomas Partey uh, remaining at Arsenal, it's a very important call for Mikel Ateta. I remember also that Arsenal did left, uh, leave that is Granite Shaka, uh, the former Arsenal captain, has just uh, recently joined Bayern Leverkusen, now giving room for, uh, for Mikel Ateta to choose in a midfield of four, maybe having Partey, having Odegaard, having uh, Jorginho, and also having their captain, that is Odegaard. Now, let's move to the other side of that midfield, and we have Declan Rice, and only at 25 years old, former Western captain and this is the most expensive player in the history of English a Premier League having been bought by 105 million pounds breaking and shattering at the record that was previously held by Jack Grealish when he was signed to Manchester City by Pep Guardiola so I think the other person who is going to partner party in that midfield is no doubt Declan Rice. And on the other side of that midfield, I think also we have Odegaard. Uh, this is former uh, Real Madrid player, a Norwegian international, only at 25 years old. And remember that Odegaard was in a very impeccable form last season, scoring a total of 15 goals and also a number of assists to be precise he had seven assists now I, I, this is very interesting this is where it gets interesting because i think that party will have to sit in front of that defense then let the likes of odegaard and rice push forward i uh, remember that rice is very 
good uh, when giving assists and playing on the upper side of the pitch, trying to feed the likes of Saka, Jesus, and of course Martinelli. And on another scenario, it will let it will be that Pate will sit in front of that defense, uh, also with Rice, and let uh, now Odegaard rove as a free player or maybe as a false number nine. Now that is the midfield for Mikel Ateta. And now let's move uh, to the flanks. And also this is where it also gets interesting because we have Saka. This is a 21-year-old England international. I remember that Saka was first given his debut under the tutelage of Unai Emre that was in a few years back. And since then Saka has never looked back and he has gone to make his position his uh, scoring goals left right and center and also giving a return of a few assists and is very fast with the ball and with his trickeries i think that saka is going to occupy that flank of arsenal side and uh, now let's move to the other flank uh, we seen that martinelli this is a 22 year old a Brazilian player, remember that Martinelli once had trials at Manchester United and also last season he scored so many goals and I think that Ateta's belief in Martinelli will go a long way in trying to improve this young man that is Martinelli. Now let's move to that forward position. We've seen that Jesus has been the one occupying that position and uh, Jesus is a 26 year old Brazilian international and former Manchester City. Remember that Jesus is a three time English uh, Premier League champion and he has also won a number of FA Cup title and also the Carling Cup uh, which is now known as the Carabao Cup. So of course Jesus is going to face competition from uh, the likes of Trossard and Nketia. But going by me, I think that he's a very pivotal role for Arsenal this season. Now, this is the possible first 11 for Arsenal. Uh, we are going to have Ramsdale in between the post and Saliba partnering the Brazilian Magales. Then Zinchenko on the other side of that defense and of course on the other side I will go with Timber. Now in that midfield is very interesting because Pate is going to sit in front of that defense and let the likes of Rice and Odegaard try to push forward. Uh, the other interesting part is that this time round uh, we, we saw that Moes used to play Declan Rice in a more defensive role and I think that this time this season Ateta is going to give Declan Rice the room to roll forward and move forward and also try to get the best out of his attacking prowess. Now let's move to that forward line. We see that Saka of course is going to occupy that offensive role on the left and on the right we are going to have Martinelli and in the middle we are going to have Gabriel Jesus and that is the possible first 11 for the Arsenal season 2023-2024. Remember to get interactive with me on the comment section and also on all social media platforms and on Facebook at, um, at Molo Collins. Uh, remember to view, like, subscribe and share and also keep on supporting this channel in every possible way. I'll be on all the matters making headlines in Europe, be it transfer, be it loan moves, anything concerning football. I've been your able host, Molo Collins. Let's do this again next time. It's bye-bye for now.